about this beautiful open concept basement and the first thing I looked at and went was, okay, where'd the posts go? The structure. They're not there anymore. Like it's seeing the things that aren't there, that's the hardest part. A lot of people ask me when they say, okay, um, we want to use your home inspector or a home inspector, what the fee should be and what should be included in the fee. Uh, can you enlighten us in that at all? Okay, well, picking a home inspector or a home inspector, basically you're looking for qualifications and insurance. Okay, first off, you want to make sure that they know what they're doing. Um, home inspecting right now in Ontario is an, unqual or an unlicensed field. Um, there is no actual certification. Um, the Ontario Association of Home Inspectors will make you a registered home inspector if you've done 250 inspections, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're qualified. Um, there are lots of people out there who you know, don't have the qualifications and they're home inspectors. So you want to make sure of what they were doing. Uh, get some qualifications. Were they a builder? Were they doing something? Do they have a degree? You know, what do they have? And I definitely want to know that. Uh, the second thing <coughs> for sure is are they insured? Um, every home inspector has liability. If they miss things or they're wrong about things, then they can end up paying for them. You want to make sure they're carrying that million dollars worth of errors and emissions insurance. It's, it's important. And again, our governing body in Ontario doesn't make you carry insurance. So it's a viable question. Um, other than that, it's, you know, if you're Pizza. looking at prices, the sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light. Everything is in its place Ooh. I woke up feeling great Ooh. Today was made for me Ooh. And life is good the way it should though